What's up guys, it's Carl here, back with another budget episode. And with the success of the last one, I think that was $20 tech you need in 2020, thought I'd continue the series with $50 tech that you need in 2020. I know it's one of the most asked questions, what tech can you actually buy? while keeping on budget. And I know it's a tough one. That episode though did have a winner. I've left that pinned to the comment section. So please respond over there and I will ship that item out. I try to hook you guys up every single one of my vids whenever it's possible. And that's the same with this one. You've got a chance to win one of these $50 items. Just be sure to sub to the channel. Leave one comment. I see multiple duplicates. Just leave one and of course follow me over on Insta for behind the scenes stuff. And in my next episode, might be $75 tech, $100 tech. I should technically have someone pick, so best of luck. The first item though in today's episode, I cannot wait to test out. I've been wanting this. It was actually my very first console, the Sega Genesis Classic. And when I was a wee little guy, this was the console that I lusted over. I got this instead of Super Nintendo, no regrets. I was a huge fan of Sonic. Maybe the console that I spent most time gaming with, they've come out with a remastered version. So this is it here, emulating the 16-bit console. 40 games included, it's got two controllers also. Plugs in via USB in the front, and I wish these were wireless. I know that was all the craze wired controllers back in the day. Do not know how a controller like this sat in my hand because this is in no way ergonomical. It's weirdly shaped, but it brings back so many memories. Let's fire this thing up. Oh my goodness, how retro does this sound? All right, 40 titles. Sega. I used to think this game was the greatest thing since sliced bread. I have spent countless hours. Watch this, there's just gonna be this little secret area here. I know this game already. Countless hours as a kid. It's an extra life. Oh my goodness, OG Street Fighter 2. And fighting games, I've never been good at. I'm just kind of like a button masher. I never knew any of the combos to get Hadouken, butt mash to the win. And playing this now, I never knew how when I was a kid I could spend hours, like the graphics are complete trash, but you know, there's some nostalgia around this and I love it. And for all of you retro peeps, I will bring a classic Xbox into this video. You can easily get this under 50 bucks. Not too sure if any of you know where this limited edition crystal one came from. Big brownie points if you can guess down below. Gaming just doesn't have that same kind of sparkle anymore. I get that I'm putting on the years, I'm getting older, but maybe also my attention span when I was a kid was probably that of a potato. So I might've thought anything was interesting. And to keep on the gaming theme, but making things a bit more modern, we do have an Xbox controller. I do rock this for my Xbox One X. This is a custom painted one though from Colorware. And I know that you can get a skin for say 10, 15 bucks, but on controllers or items that have a ton of curves, skins just don't fit as well, no matter how much of a master or a robot you are to apply them. To be honest, this is one of my prized possessions in my gaming collection. It is a custom orange controller. That's a one of one, so I think that's super unique. Of course, links for everything down below, around 50 bucks, and I think it's awesome to have a unique controller. The next piece of tech, under 50 bucks, we're going back retro again. This is the Fujifilm Instax. I got this actually as a gift for people on the channel that are too young to remember. This is what cameras used to look like back in the day. The thing about digital is you never see them after you take the photo, at least I never print any of mine. These could be fun little collectibles, things to take with friends. I'll take one of my setup. That is my friend for the day. All right, photo taken. Something should be coming out up the top. You're not actually supposed to shake it like the song. We'll wait for this guy to develop. We'll place it down there. This camera will go here and we will switch to our next item. We'll get back to you. The next two items are desk accessories and they're from a company called Uppercase. We have the Cradle as well as the Zero. 
And when you do rock a monitor setup, you typically have your MacBook closed. It does kind of take up space when it sits on the side. I've seen other solutions before, but the cradle is one of the most minimal. For example, I've got my MacBook Pro. It slips into here nicely. And on the side, you can see you have access to all of your USB-C ports. That will run to say a monitor. There is a tad bit of give, but you never need to worry that your MacBook Pro will fall over. It's sturdy enough. I love the fact it's in the exact same space gray. I think that does make a pretty dope gift. And coming on over to the Zero, this is a headphone stand holder. If you need a place to show off your headphones or you don't like your headphones to sit on the ground, I think having them showcased here makes them look just a tad bit neater and of course keeping things super minimal. It's an all black, so it does match the headphones. I think I would have made it in space gray if that was my preference, then all of my accessories would be the same color. But just like the cradle, the zero is also super minimal. I think if I could choose one, I'd lean over this way. I don't really show off my headphones too many times, but I think you could swap either and both make great gifts. And speaking of the cradle and headphones, if you still wanna keep things on budget, under $50, I know it's tough to find noise canceling headphones, but these are the Sound Surge 60s. They are an older model, but they do still sell for under 50 bucks. They have a surprising build quality. They feel almost as good as say my Sony's. Obviously the sound or noise cancellation isn't as good, but for paying under 50 bucks, I don't think you can go wrong. I know standalone headphones that are more than these. I've been a big fan. I recommend these to all my friends that don't want to break the bank. And I think that wraps up some of the best tech that you can grab for under $50 in 2020. I know these episodes are harder and harder to make as everything seems to be getting pricier, but let me know your thoughts down below in the comments and remember to leave that one comment to win one of these items, could be your fave, and I'll be announcing the winners in that next episode. Before I forget, we do have my little picture. That is a Polaroid of my desk setup. Dope. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will catch the rest of you in one of my next vids or vlogs. Peace.